It's a point apiece in Greece. Welcome back to Big Stevie Cool 1872. Not much to complain about, or was there? Did a 1 1 paper over the cracks? Could it have been more? Should it have been less? But let's just get into it, shall we? Because the starting 11, as we did the 11 stream, uh, we did the watch along as well, which I really enjoyed doing. Thank you guys for the support. As for the 11, though, it was Butland, Sterling, Suter, Proper, Yefty, Raskin, Barron, The Big Man, Diamonde, Cherney, Bajrami, and Serial Dessers up front. So we, we kind of got what we wished for in terms of Tavernier getting dropped. But Dessers stayed up front, and for me, he got a goal. But I think Serial Dessers starting up front has probably cost us the win. Even though Igamani came on and looked weak, I think if he just took a risk with Lovelace or Igamani to start, maybe more Lovelace, there was chances to win this game. I, I really, really think so. I think Clement, I think he shat it. I think he shat it with the second half substitutions. The game was there to be won. It's a good point away, don't get to twist it. You know, uh, Olympiacos or a step up for Malmo and FCSB for me. Um, you know, Conference League winners last year. I'm not going to pretend they're world beaters at the same time, but they're a good team. But I think that game was there for a team to grab it by the scruff of the neck and win. And sadly, we weren't that team. Neither were Olympiacos, but there's nothing sadly about that. We, we, we kick off the game. Dessers wins a corner kick. We don't have much from this. Diamonde then takes like three Olympiacos guys out the game, cuts in on his right, finesses it straight into the hands of the goalie. But here is what it is. Then there's a ball played over the top to Serial Dessers troops. Serial Dessers. What does Serial Dessers do it? You guessed it, he runs and balloons it straight at the goalie. Honestly, I would describe this as unacceptable. It was offside in the end. Um, but, I just, it's it's not good enough. It, it, it really ain't. I don't care if it's off and that it would have been ruled out, right? I, I, I want to have confidence in my striker, right? I want to have a guy up front that's going to put these to bed. It is the tamest shot ever. We're not talking about, as I said in the stream, he didn't chip it and it rattled the bar. He didn't, you know, finesse it and it's just narrowly skimmed the post and went wide. He didn't, you know, smash it for the position he was in and it's dipped and rattled the underside of the bar, bounced on the line and went out. He has literally peeled it, you know, right into the goalie. There's not much more to say other than that. That's literally what he did. Not good enough for Dessers. Right, and it wouldn't be the only chance that he would, in fact, miss. Um, Cherney does some great work on the right-hand side, plays it back to Dessers. I mean, he has his back to goal here. He's like four yards out. He manages to get himself in a decent position, turns around, tame ass shot, goalie saves it. So, I mean, it should be 1-0. Obviously, the first goal wouldn't account it, right, because it was offside, unless they drew the dodgiest lines of all time. But an envelope, please. Uh, but yeah, he, he should score this. There's no real defending it. As for Olympiacos, they didn't really have any clear cut chances in this first half. I mean, Martins hit the side netting. Um, Gelson Martins, a few balls into the box, but Butland really wasn't tested. A few shots straight at him that he dealt with with ease. Cherney had a shot saved as well, but that pretty much took us into half time. Uh, we saw Sterling go off for Kazan Weirjo, which was to be expected regardless of what would have happened. Um, you know, he come on did talk about how the fact that Sterling was never going to do 90 minutes. But again, I think we're seeing progress here because he didn't sub on Tav for the at right back. They make it 1 0 with El Kababi. Um, good finish for this guy. You know, takes it in his stride. Proper finish into that top right hand corner. It's an unlucky. It was not unlucky. It's just a good goal. I don't think the defending's particularly fantastic, but. <laughs> Considering the state of some goals that we concede, I am not going to cry about it. I thought Nico Raskin was very, very good tonight. I thought Barron was good as well. I thought the middle of the pitch done its job. All right. So, no real complaints there. But Dessers, this is, I think this is where the complaints are going to come here. So, Dessers gets the goal right. Cherney finds him. Poor defending for Olympiacos, must be said, but he's still got to find the corner. But again, it's like, at this point, you know, you, you've scored one chance of numerous chances that you should have already put to bed. He then get another chance at one each. Cherney's making a run. I believe it was Diamande 
and Bajrami to the left of him and Dessers, he just he just shoots it into the advertising board. It is absolutely horrific. This is a chance to make it two one and seal the three points because I think I think we win if we go two one up. You know I think we do, but he just doesn't he doesn't pass it. No idea why not. Um, anyway, Bajrami then has a solo run. I mean, it's straight at the goalie, but the solo run's got to be appreciated. Dessers then gets played through. The guy at this point is breathing out his arse. He, he is done. He is absolutely done. Subs are made. Um, we've seen McCausland, Igamani and Tav get brought on. Pretty much just swapping the entirety of the front three. So again, as I said in the stream, if Tavenier is going to be utilised like this, then I've honestly got no complaints. This is the correct decision. But the problem for me is, is the fact that he took off the wrong players. He took off Chioni and Bajrami when the game was out to be won. I think if he takes off Diamonde, right, and, and you know he, he bring, but then, then who do you bring on? No, I mean look the, like in terms of creative. But then I'm, honestly, fucking just fire Tav up front. Why not, man? We know the guy can finish better than pretty much most people in this squad. Why not? Honestly, no complaints. Like if he just fired Tavernier up front, but I, I think. I think Clement's bottled the win here. I, it was definitely in our grasp to get this over the line, but for whatever reason, he didn't fancy it. But anyway, guys, there's, there's no need to be overly negative. I think we should have won. I think it was there to be won, but Clement just didn't really fancy it. So anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And Big Stevie Cool side note. Yeah. <laughs>